Hey guys, it's me. We're back, sort of. Uh, it's been a while since we last vlogged. I don't even know what the last thing we talked about was. Might have been Keith's birthday, but today is um, it's June 24th. It's 2 p.m. And I randomly decided to vlog today. I don't really know why. I just thought it'd been a really long time. And we haven't vlogged in like a month just because um, one, not a lot's been happening, but also two, a lot's been happening. But just like in our personal lives, nothing as much, nothing much has been happening. We're not doing anything, we're obviously not traveling anymore. Um, we, we don't even leave the house, we barely leave the house. I guess the, the biggest update I can give you is um, I got my hair cut and colored. That's pretty much it. That was the one and only time I've taken the train anywhere here or even left our suburb really. We haven't, like literally we're, we're doing nothing. We did um, buy some board games so we've, we've been playing that. Like we got two player Catan and that's really fun. Um, but yeah, oh we got these shelves, bookshelves. I think in the last vlog we talked about we got some new Ikea stuff and yeah, the bookshelves are some of those things. We were also adults and we got a vacuum. This is the Dyson V7. It's like the cheapest vacuum that they sell. And these are the the um, the shelves. They're actually, I think, bathroom furniture, but I wanted small shelves for in here, so we went with those. And we while we were unpacking stuff, we got all of our gachas from Japan again. Oh, and I got a, a plant and, yeah, like, this old stuff that we've had sitting in storage. Finally got it out again. This is this is Keith's shelf, by the way, <laughs> and that's more, more mine. don't really have a good spot to put the camera on because holding it gets really tiring. So I'm just going to, like, sit it on my desk and awkwardly bend down. This is just going to be, like, a really random vlog. Mostly where I'm just rambling and things. Yesterday, um, Keith and I started watching this guy on YouTube who was cooking a lot of like Korean panchans, which is like side dishes, and it made me really want to start cooking more side dishes because we did that a lot in Montreal, and we had kind of a bad system of how we did it because we went through them too quickly, and it made me not want to keep making them because we went through them so quick. But we figured out like a better setup for it and I really want to start cooking panchan but I already went to the shop yesterday and we have food so I feel like it's a waste to go again today. Like I'm trying to limit how often we go to the supermarket especially now because in Victoria our COVID-19 cases are going up and it's like a whole thing and neither Keith or I want to leave the house so trying to limit when to do that. I'm cooking kimchi jjigae tonight though, so I guess we'll vlog that, turn it into like a cooking video. <laughs> I feel like this camera angle is so bad. It's really low. Is this better? Maybe I'm just looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> just trying to think if there's like stuff we need to update you on, but I guess not because really nothing is happening. Kind of still annoyed that we can't go to Sydney to get any of my things and I know at the end of the day it's just things like they're just material things and they're not that important but there's like some stuff I would like to have here but what can you do? I'm sitting in bed right now because <laughs> I'm about to um, keep reading my book because in isolation in lockdown I started getting into reading, reading again this Kindle I brought um, on our trip, did I bring this on our trip? No, yes, no, yes, yes, no, I don't know, I don't know. The point is, I've gone through periods where I've gone really into reading and then I go through massive slumps where I don't read at all for like years. Because the last book I read, oh I did take this on our trip, yes. Because the last book I read was on the flight from Shanghai to Frankfurt and that was it. <laughs> I brought, brought the Kindle with me because I was like, oh, there's going to be lots of downtime and things, so I'll read a lot, but nope, didn't do that. 
but I've gotten into reading with uh, I'm reading His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman is it? Um, and that's really good. I finished the first two books pretty quick I'd say and I'm on the third book now and they're so good like I've always tracked what books I read on my Goodreads which if you know me and you want that then I can add you on that because I, I, I like to have my friends on Goodreads because certain friends I know have we have similar taste in books so when they rate a book really well I'm like oh I know I like that book but yeah I've rated the first two books five out of five like they're so good it's, it's just a YA fiction but I don't know it's like a classic it's like a classic YA book so I figured I had to read it and then after I want to read uh, the new Hunger Games book if you didn't know there's a new Hunger Games book it's a prequel to the trilogy so I'm just trying to get through this book so I can read that book and also I'm gonna so I don't know why I said in I, I, I don't even know I don't even know what I'm saying but my point is I got my tea Melbourne breakfast and I'm gonna read my book for the rest of the afternoon for dinner we're gonna make kimchi jjigae and this is the book that we have it's called Korean food made easy we bought this at Costco a few years ago I don't know if they still sell it but we're gonna try this recipe I normally do a different one but this is the one in the book so I want to give it a go so step one is get about this much pork belly and chop it up It makes more sense to do the meat last actually because now I have to wash this knife Do you like any milk bottle? We're obsessed with minor figures at the moment We have a bunch of the chives And then you want to get a onion and just slice it So stingy. Why are you crying? It's stingy. Don't cry for the oh onion. God, it's so oniony. Don't cry for the onion. He had a good life. But now he's dying. And then we go like look, look, garlic. In traditional Korean cooking, we don't measure things. At least that's how my mum does it. No measuring. You just wing it. And it's like that looks good. And you put it in. How much kimchi is it? It says 400 grams. This recipe is weird because it calls for very little of the gochujang and stuff, but a lot of kimchi juice, which is kind of hard to get if you make this often because there's very little kimchi juice in kimchi so we got this, this is like the exact measurement of everything the recipe says so. hopefully there's enough juice in it it reckons you need 150 mils of kimchi juice which I don't think you're going to get from that little bit of kimchi right. yeah, this would be a good job, a little container to be used it's so cute We did it. Just go. Drop. Is that no juice? I'm gonna get some juice from our other kimchi. The other one's really juicy. Maybe we'll use some of that. Because that literally has zero kimchi juice in it. So our little kimchi didn't have much juice in it. So we grabbed our old kimchi. I'm just gonna use all the juice from that. Oh, you wanna make this with old kimchi, by the way. That's where all the flavour is. Like really fermented kimchi. How much is left in that one? A fair bit. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's plenty. There was enough liquid. Was that 150 mils of kimchi juice? Nope. And then you want soft silken tofu. Come on. Come on. God. Okay. It's not going to be pretty. But... It broke. It's okay. It's okay. You can just jigsaw piece it together. There we go. And then you want to try. 
chop it into well I like to chop it into little cubes because I don't like the big cubes it really smells like kimchi I don't know what my technique is here. I don't know what your technique is either. I just chopped it all and then just like slid it in. Well, it's stuck to the knife. I'm not claiming to be a professional. <laughs> it's very ugly. And then you want to get inoki mushrooms. These are the ones at the supermarket. They're a bit funny looking. But they came in like a medley thing. So it'll be a little bit different than normal, but whatever. And you just pop them in as well. Keith hates these mushrooms. Well, not hates, but they're stringy and, and they get stuck in his teeth. <laughs> and then we have these ones. I don't know what these mushrooms are called, but I really like them. So we're going to pop them in too. I'm used to having these mushrooms in it. And I hope this tastes good. So this is gochujang. This is where all the flavor comes from. And it says a teaspoon. Oh, I think I was looking at this recipe as well and it they also don't call for anchovy stock, which is like the basis for every Korean soup, so it should be interesting. And then how about the chuko? Is a teaspoon? Red pepper flakes. A teaspoon. No, this is gochu garu. Gochu Is that what I said? No, you said gochu. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you're okay. good. It's on tape. We'll go back and see that. Tablespoon of soy. So like, how much? Uh, and then, how much sesame? Tablespoon. Tablespoon of sesame. Soy seems a bit weird. Tablespoon of mirin. Where's estimating the tablespoon? We don't actually have a tablespoon measurement. No. And a tablespoon of Vegetable oil. It's a bit weird, but whatever. Salt, pepper, enough water to cover it. It's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's ignore how dirty our kitchen. It's midweek, we haven't cleaned it yet. And then you just let it boil. Oh, I should give it a mix first. Yeah, give it a mix. Look. That's so much better. Light. Give it a mix and let it simmer for half an hour. It just something. starts boiling really. It says half an hour. Well, my mum says when it starts boiling. We're trying to follow the recipe. Oh, yeah. You can't like half follow the recipe and half not. We're going to see what this one tasted like. I'm worried that it's not going to have enough flavour. We'll have to see, won't we? Um, it's like, okay. <laughs> you really need more salt. It's like lacking a deep flavour. It's better than um, when we tried it the first time. I like it. Really? Yeah. Could be because I don't like the fishiness of stuff sometimes. Yeah, because when my mum makes it, she adds some. Um, we got the stock, obviously, and then actual edge. Or sardines, I think. Mm. I don't mind it. Okay. Do you have it either like this then? Yeah, I'll eat it like that. Okay. But I think I like how you normally make it more. Yeah, I don't know if I would make it like this again. <laughs> But edible. And, and we already made some rice. 
You need rice, obviously. And this is a typical show that we watch when we eat dinner. It's called Eggheads. It's this British quiz show and we love it. And we're just going to have dinner and then that'll be the end of the vlog. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.